invited former President Obama to his wedding, but did not extend an invitation to President Trump. The prince and the Obamas bonded at the Invictus Games in Canada. When asked about the possible invitation during an interview he did with President Obama, Prince Harry dodged the question, saying he didn't know. So let's talk about all of this with Niall Gardner, director of the Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom at the Heritage Foundation. Would it be a huge breach of diplomatic protocol in Britain for the prince to invite the former president to his wedding, but not the sitting president? Um, I think it would be very unusual, and certainly there are a number of reports in London indicating uh, that government uh, advisers have uh, strongly suggested to the royal family that an invitation not be extended uh, to Barack Obama. Uh, my sense is that uh, I think the royal family will want to avoid any sort of political controversy over the royal wedding, which takes place on May 19th at Windsor Castle. And I would very much doubt, actually, that uh, Barack Obama would, in fact, be uh, invited. But there is a lot of speculation at the moment uh, in the United Kingdom. And without a doubt, I think this is a, a sort of hot-button uh, political issue at the moment with the potential for significant controversy. Let me uh, uh, play just a little bit of an interview. This is kind of an unusual interview uh, that the BBC did because the interviewer is Prince Harry and his guest is Barack Obama. I want to play this for you. You've sat through the inauguration with your game face on, not giving <laughs> much emotion away, as we all saw. Uh -huh. what's, going, what's going through your mind? The sense that there was a completion uh, and that we had done the work uh, in a way that preserved our integrity mm. uh, and, and less, left us whole, mm. um, and that we hadn't fundamentally changed, uh, I think was, uh, was a satisfying feeling. Now, that was mixed with all the work that was still undone. So uh, he's telling the former president there that he had his game face on at the inauguration. Ultimately, this is kind of all up to the queen, is it not? I mean, it may be Harry's wedding, but she's kind of the one who rules yes or no on the guest list. Well, certainly the queen has uh, a big say in this. Uh, ultimately, I, I think that, uh, you know, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will, uh, will be the deciders in terms of the final invitation uh, list. But the British government, uh, although it has a consultative role, does also uh, have a strong say uh, in this matter as well. Uh, and I think the British government will be very concerned about any political fallout uh, from an invitation being extended to, to Barack Obama, but not to uh, President uh, Trump. It's also important to bear in mind, actually, that uh, Barack Obama himself is a very controversial uh, figure in the United Kingdom, not least because of his uh, warnings against Brexit in advance of the UK uh, referendum. He also warned the British people they would be at the back of the queue if they uh, voted for, uh, for Brexit. And so Barack Obama is known as a very anti-Brexit uh, figure. Uh, and uh, I think that is also going to loom large, actually, with regard to this overall debate. He also had a track record as U.S. president of not exactly being the strongest friend for Great Britain. In fact, his administration sided with Argentina over the Falklands question, a very sensitive issue for, for the British people. Mm. Uh, and so uh, President Obama's own track record when it comes to, to Great Britain isn't exactly particularly stellar. But Theresa May, the sitting prime minister, she's had her own um, issues, I guess you would say, with uh, President Trump. Uh, certainly there have been, you know, some disagreements between Theresa May and President uh, Trump. But overall, I would say the special relationship is actually very, very strong. You do have a U.S. administration at this time that is very pro-British, very pro-Brexit. Uh, and I think that uh, overall, the relationship between Washington and London is very, very powerful uh, at this time. And certainly the British government, I think, will be very keen to ensure that the US-UK special relationship continues to be extremely strong in the coming, uh, the coming years. So certainly this is going to be a very interesting uh, debate that's going to take place uh, in the UK yeah. in, the coming, in the coming months. But my sense is that uh, Barack Obama probably won't be uh, going over to the, uh, the royal wedding. Niall Gardner from the Heritage Foundation. Niall, good to have you on. Thanks. My pleasure. Thank you very much. 2017 was quite a year.